Listen and practice. American Van Americans with small families own a small car or a large one. If both parents are working, they usually have two cars. When the family is large, one of the cars is sold and they will buy a van. A small car can hold four persons and a large car can hold six persons, but it is very crowded. A van holds seven persons easily, so a family with three children could ask their grandparents to go on a holiday travel. They could all travel together. Mr. Hagen and his wife had a third child last year. This made them sell a second car and buy a van. Their children's sixth and seventh seats are used to put other things, for a family of five must carry many suitcases when they travel. When they arrive at their grandparents' home, the suitcases are brought in, and the two seats can then carry the grandparents. Americans call vans motorhomes. A motorhome is always used for holidays. When a family is traveling to the mountains or to the seaside, they can live in their motorhome for a few days or weeks. All the members of a big family can enjoy a happier life when they are traveling together. That is why motorhomes have become very popular. In America, there are many parks for motorhomes. Repeat after me. Americans with small families own a small car or a large one. Americans with small families own a small car or a large one. If both parents are working, they usually have two cars. If both parents are working, they usually have two cars. When the family is large, one of the cars is sold and they will buy a van. When the family is large, one of the cars is sold and they will buy a van. A small car can hold four persons and a large car can hold six persons, but it is very crowded. A small car can hold four persons and a large car can hold six persons, but it is very crowded. A van holds seven persons easily, so a family with three children could ask their grandparents to go on a holiday travel. A van holds seven persons easily, so a family with three children could ask their grandparents to go on a holiday travel. They could all travel together. They could all travel together. Mr. Hagen and his wife had a third child last year. Mr. Hagen and his wife had a third child last year. This made them sell a second car and buy a van. This made them sell a second car and buy a van. Their children's sixth and seventh seats are used to put other things. For a family of five must carry many suitcases when they travel. Their children's sixth and seventh seats are used to put other things, for a family of five must carry many suitcases when they travel. When they arrive at their grandparents' home, the suitcases are brought in, and the two seats can then carry the grandparents. When they arrive at their grandparents' home, the suitcases are brought in, and the two seats can then carry the grandparents. Americans call vans motorhomes. Americans call vans motorhomes. A motorhome is always used for holidays. A motorhome is always used for holidays. When a family is traveling to the mountains or to the seaside, they can live in their motorhome for a few days or weeks. When a family is traveling to the mountains or to the seaside, they can live in their motorhome for a few days or weeks. All the members of a big family can enjoy a happier life when they are traveling together. 
All the members of a big family can enjoy a happier life when they are traveling together. That is why motorhomes have become very popular. That is why motorhomes have become very popular. In America, there are many parks for motorhomes. In America, there are many parks for motorhomes. Answer the question. 6. From the passage, a van is also called A. A motor car. B. A motor home. C. A motorbike. D. A big truck. B. A motor home. 7. Before Mr. Hagen and his wife bought a van, they A. Sold their old house. B. Moved to their grandparents' house. C. Built a new place for a van. D. Sold their second car. D. Sold their second car. 8. A motor home is usually owned by a family with A. A baby. B. Much money. C. More than two children. D. Interest in vans. C. More than two children. 9. Americans usually use motorhomer. A. To travel with all the family members of holiday. B. To do some shopping with all the family members. C. To visit their grandparents at weekends. D. To drive their children to school every day. A. To travel with all the family members of holiday. 10. Motorhomes have become popular because A. They can take people to another city when people are free. B. They can let families have a happier life when they go out for their holidays. C. Some people think motorhomes are cheap. D. Big families can put more things in motorhomes. B. They can let families have a happier life when they go out for their holidays.